What's up guys, it's Eric. I've got the new Arma Creighton EXB Extreme Bash uh, Creighton. And guys, this is one sweet truck. I mean, it has tons and tons of upgrades, uh, you know, especially compared to an RTR version. Um, again, you know, again, this is a roller, so you can put whatever electronics in it you want to, um, you know, without having to do uh, many upgrades at all. I mean, it's going to be pretty much upgraded out of the box. Copperhead 2, uh, the boots on it. As far as the inside goes, we'll go straight to the straight to the beef. Um, it's got 7075 T6 uh, chassis and shock towers, and that's that's a huge upgrade right there. Uh, the towers look to be about five millimeters thick, and it's got aluminum uh, servo mount. It's got aluminum uh, upper upper suspension block. You guys can see that right there in the red anodized. And the bottom of the chassis, again, this is uh, 7075. If you can read this, just send it. <laughs> I mean, it's got uh, super thick A-arms on it. Uh, very, uh, you know, kind of like the Mojave. Very similar to the Mojave. So this should uh, definitely, uh, you know, take a beating. I mean, the shocks uh, feel really dialed, really nice. And uh, one, uh, uh, one really nice thing is the differentials. It's got an open rear, like stock, but the center and the front have a limited slip. Uh, so that, you know, as you start taking off, you know, it'll start tightening up and, you know, and stop the power bleed out to the front wheels. You know, it should also help handling and stuff, too. So that's, that's a really cool option. And the gears, the ring and pinion in front and the rear are thicker gears, and they have more of a spiral, more of a curve to them. So they should be a lot stronger. So it's a lot stronger. And back here, it's got, a, it's got a plastic cover over, this, over the cups, uh, which kind of lock them in so you don't have to use a red Loctite. It does have the tower-to-tower uh, -tower brace, uh, you know, like usual. Um, you know, but just having these chassis braces right here, which these things are solid, uh, should, you know, should really, uh, you know, keep this chassis straight, um, you know, especially with the uh, a T6 uh, a chassis. So we'll, we'll definitely see how that goes. It's got aluminum spindles back here. I mean, that's just really nice. I mean, it's super nice details. Um, and also on the bearings, it's got rubber sealed bearings in here. So you don't have to go changing those out. That's a, that's, that, that's a really nice option out of the box. So I can't wait to give this thing a rip. Uh, again, I'm gonna be. I just wanted to give you guys, you know, just a quick glimpse of this truck before I put my electronics in it, and uh, and just can't wait to give this thing a go. I mean, this is just one one awesome truck. I mean, Arma really listens to you know to the bashers, you know what upgrades are needed, uh, just just to bulletproof these things up. And I think it's really cool that they're offering you know right, something in a roller. Electronics in it. I thought I'd go ahead and show you real quick uh, before I give this thing its its, its first hard bash. Um, I do have a Hobby Star a 4092 size can, a 1480 KV with a 23 tooth pinion, a Max 6 ESC, a, a Max Punch. Um, I did put a little screen over the top of this just to help keep, you know, you know, keep grass blades and rocks and, and dirt and stuff out of there. Um, I had this little Yeah Racing uh, fan, a heat sink uh, combo uh, uh, sitting in the garage. Thought I'd uh, throw that on there and just, uh, you know, see what happens. It, it should definitely help, you know, cool the motor. I'm not sure if these fan blades will last very long, but you know, just the heat sink will, uh, you know, you know, will definitely help. Um, I've got a, a Power HD 23 kilogram servo in here. Uh, this is basically my go-to servo for my bashers. Um, I mean, I very rarely uh, strip one of these out. They're you know very tough servos, not super fast, but uh, but they're but they're definitely tough, and uh, worth the money. I mean, only 39 bucks uh, most of the time, like on eBay or uh, Amazon. I looked at earlier, uh, at right here at the top plate, um, they are using a 4M uh, bolt now or screw, uh, which is a huge improvement, you know, because because a little three millimeter would screw uh, would. Um, uh, shear off um, and right here at the hinge at the uh, at the upper uh, hinge pin block they've got a screw in here that, that screws down to help hold that pin in from backing out I don't know if you can see that so that's that's a I mean just very nice little details that Armas put into this they uh, definitely did her homework on this truck and uh, she is definitely uh, a hard bash uh, already so all right guys see what's up
Guys, this baby's fast. Oh! <laughs> Almost landed on that uh, drain. That would have sucked. Oh! Didn't get that second rotation around in time. Guys, that's gonna be it for the first uh, first run. And she's an absolute animal. Um, nothing's uh, broke on it that I could see. I'm really digging this front bumper. I mean, this is an awesome uh, upgrade right here. <laughs> it definitely saves the truck. Everything looks pretty good. Let's see the chassis. Chassis still looks pretty straight. I don't see any uh, huge bends in it. I have to put a ruler to get an accurate test, but. It's nothing sticking out to me. Uh, let's pull the shell off real quick. I got a crack in my body already. <laughs> All right, let's see. Shock towers. Shock towers still look straight. Tower to tower brace, still straight. These big beefy braces, I'm loving these. Uh, they're holding in there. Everything looks good. The uh, four mil bolt right here is still there. Nothing's sheared off, come loose. So. Center drive shaft still looks straight, which is good because that means there's not been any uh, severe warping of the chassis. Uh, having this tower to tower in here, along with these uh, beefy aluminum braces, you know, really helps. You know, even though this is a three millimeter chassis, um, you know, it's still going to be a lot stronger, you know, than the uh, stamped ones. So, all right, guys. Again, a huge shout out to Arma uh, for their constant innovation. Uh, this is just an awesome truck. <clears throat> you know, have you know have the option you know, of a roller to uh, just customize it and just uh, beef it up the way you want to. You know, and it be basically upgraded out of the box. And uh, and huge shout out to a Horizon Hobby as well. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Marcy Dude 81. Peace out.